to this next story. Now, jolted by the runway national debt burden, the government is tonight seeking your input in the debt policy and borrowing. It is crafting that includes increased roles for the Public Debt Management Office. Among the proposed functions of the office is issuance of reports every four months on loans borrowed by the government with focus on departure from short-term expensive commercial loans to long-term concessional debts at lower interest rates. Our very own Francis Gashuri has the details. In just six years of President Uhuru Kenyatta's tenure, the national debt has ballooned to 6 trillion shillings, up from 1.8 trillion shillings, with a huge chunk of the national revenue being used to service expensive commercial loans procured to finance infrastructure projects. The National Treasury acknowledges that something must give. Acting Cabinet Secretary Ukuri Atani has crafted a debt policy and borrowing framework and invited various stakeholders to weigh in on how to tame the government's appetite for loans. The policy is meant to act as a guideline for debt management including the issuance process, management of debt portfolio and adherence to laws governing debt contracting. It's not about that you know we want to raise 90 trillion and we are going to now have all that money, I mean to borrow the remainder of the balance. No. That is our target and we have put our target for the next six, seven years. As at September 30th this year, Kenya owed Exim Bank of China over 660 billion shillings in bilateral debts with loans from Japan, France Development Agency and GTZ amounting to another 200 billion shillings. Among the country's large commercial bank loans include 414 billion shillings from Citigroup Germany and 217 billion shillings from Citigroup Europe. On the multilateral front, Kenya owes International Development Association and African Development Bank Bank ADB 682 billion shillings and 216 billion shillings respectively. And what we are doing is looking at the scaling down our commercial borrowing up to a point where it is manageable. Of course that will not happen in one year, but over time if you look at our fiscal consolidation path, in the next three years we'll be in a, in a very comfortable level in terms of borrowing. The draft debt policy framework proposes increased functions for the Public Debt Management Office, headed by Dr. Harun Sirima. These include appointing agents to provide technical advice on debt management and recruitment of a national government securities registrar. The Debt Management Office will be required to prepare annual medium-term strategy reports for submission to Parliament. The office will also update Parliament through the National Treasury Cabinet Secretary every four months on all loans procured by the government. The office will also avail at request a report on all government guarantees and a mandatory statement two months after the end of every financial year. On commercial loans, the draft framework proposes that government maximizes borrowing from concessional sources unless the projects being implemented, such as military affairs, cannot be funded from such sources. On short-term borrowings, the draft document proposes they be restricted to management of cash flows and limited to 12 months. The government will also be compelled to maximize borrowing loans for investment in projects that can generate proceeds that will directly or indirectly service the debt. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.